Jordan Tower with JT News. Well, we got DC4 last night, and it is impressive. I'm impressed. I'm happy that Meek Mill's back dropping the music. That's all I was asking him to do. Just get back to the music and screw the beef, man. Now, the question is, he's performing at Powerhouse tonight, and we knew he was going to drop the mixtape before Powerhouse earlier this week, right? So the question is now... Is Nicki Minaj going to come out with him on Powerhouse? Because they did have a little problem before. I mean, that's a fact, guys. They were having a problem. I think it was because Drake and Rihanna split up and Nicki was, like, consoling Drake. It caused a little rift, but that happens in relationships. But they seem back cool now. They talk to each other on Instagram. We saw last night. And, you know, I know this is that gossip talk that we don't— It doesn't really matter because it was really about the music. But I'm just, you know, we're speculating. Is Nikki going to come to Powerhouse tonight? Because it seems like they're cool now. Nikki uh, tweeted out his mixtape. She's on the mixtape. I think that Little Uzi Vert and Nicki Minaj are going to be Meek Mill's guests tonight at Powerhouse. And this is great, man, because it's like Meek Mill's making his comeback. He even did an interview with Tax Stone, which is questionable to me because Tax Stone's been hating on Meek Mill for like years, like real hate, not even just like disappointed fan hate. It's like real like problems. And, and you know, I don't know. I'll get to that in a minute. But basically, let's focus on this. We got DC4. My favorite songs right now, I'd have to say, I really like Blue Notes. That's one of my favorites. Uh, Lights Out is hard. Blue Notes is okay. But Lights Out is the best. That's really good. The outro is fire. Liddy's dope. Shine's really dope because it's like it's a cool vibe. I like Froze. It's cool. So, you know, those are my favorites right now. But as you know, with any mixtape, man, uh, it grows on you as time goes. So, you know, I'm going to probably give it give it a go while I'm running later. I'm glad Meek Mill's back dropping music. Hopefully he stays on this run. Uh, with Tax Stone and the interview, the snippets I've seen, it's like... Okay, he asked Meek Mill about back-to-back, and then Meek Mill says, well, I don't feel like he took a real shot. I was kind of surprised that people liked it so much. Where was the shot at? Now, we all know where the shot was, but Tax Stone didn't go in. And I was a little disappointed in that because you had a lot to say on, on, you know, tax season and, you know, Twitter and everything. But the real shot was, is that a girl tour or your world tour? Is that your girl's a world tour or your girl's tour? I'm sorry. And basically, uh, he didn't take that. He didn't give Meek Mill that answer because that's what the Internet says. OK, Meek Mill would have had an answer for that. He can handle it. Meek Mill can handle it. But Taxton took the easy way out and said it was the beat, man. The beat was fire. It was the, it was the lyrics were there. The bars were there. OK. And Meek Mill did do were good return fire. It was just a little too late, as I said before. But anyway, screw all that. We got DC4. We'll get that interview with Tax Season on Monday, and we can analyze it. But uh, for now, let's focus on DC Force here. What's Powerhouse going to be like for Meek Mill tonight? That'll be very interesting. Interesting. <laughs>